I'm David Brooks, Director of Learner Services here at College of Camoy. Thanks for considering us as your course choice for next year. And the aim of this short video is to help you uh, by giving you information and giving you important uh, things that you may need to know in terms of making the right choice. First of all, I'm going to take a little time to describe our application process so you understand what is happening. Uh, you've probably put an application in online and uh, we've received all our information from you and therefore we know quite a lot about you already. And what we will normally do then is invite you for an interview or perhaps uh, in times such as we're in today with a health scare that we could perhaps do a telephone interview or an online interview uh, to help you then work out what your course choice is, is the best for you, uh, the details about the course and we've got to move through the process to a stage where you're happy with your choice and then we will give you an offer ready for next year. Making the right course choice. Our teachers will help you to make the right course choice. They'll discuss the content of course with you and, and they'll describe what will happen when you go through that course. But I just wanted to mention a few things that perhaps you'd like to think about when you're considering your course choice. Have you got a career in mind? Have you researched it? Is this the right course to get to your career? Or to university maybe? So one thing to think about is career and what course would be best to get you there. So do some research and then you can be sure you're choosing the right course. Lots of you perhaps haven't got a career in mind. So what other ways could you choose your course? Well, I guess you could look at what are you good at in school? What do you excel at? And therefore take that forward. Or what do you enjoy? It's important you enjoy your course. So think about the things you enjoy doing and those again will be the sort of courses you're more likely to stick at and succeed at. We obviously have entry requirements on our courses and you can see them on our website and we will require you to reach certain grades maybe or you maybe have already had those grades in order to join our courses. Again our tutors will talk about this with you. And then another thing I'd like to ask you to do is check the progression route from that course. What will you do following that course? In college there may be another level to the course or you may be thinking about an apprenticeship, university, job. So think a, bit, a little, little bit ahead and research so you know you're making the right choice. Caring for our learners. People often ask what do we do to look after our learners. Perhaps you're coming from school and, and you're a little bit nervous about college. Well we do an awful lot to look after our learners and we're very proud of our work. We have many staff, numerous staff with specialities that would be able to help you. First of all, there'll be a course tutor. Uh, typically, you may be in a group with maybe 20 others and a course tutor would see you every week, talk about uh, your worries. They'd mention to you the things that perhaps you need to improve on. And we've got an electronic uh, process where we record those discussions and your targets uh, and so on. Uh, we also have additional learning needs support, uh, learning services support, uh, which will be of various kinds. Uh, in our lives, we sometimes have problems we have welfare staff you can go and chat to about personal problems. We've got people who can help you with financial issues. Uh, so there's quite a lot that we do uh, in, in terms of caring. Uh, we're very proud of our record with wellbeing and we hope you will find that. And if you know anybody who's been to college, I'm sure they will say that we do our best to look after our learners. Whilst I'm talking about caring for young people and adults, we also have some specific areas I'd like to mention particularly young carers and the work we do to support our young carers and also looked after children. We've got specialist staff to help with those uh, people who find themselves uh, with a special need in those areas. Financial support. I'm now going to talk about some things like grants and buses and so on which people are often interested in as it's important uh, to get into college and surviving in college. We will be giving you a booklet and this will be uh, again linked by the email you receive to look at with a lot of detail about our grants and, and buses. But first of all, just giving you an overview, uh, we have a few grants EMA, it could be £30 a week if you are eligible. There are financial uh, circumstances that need to be filled out, there's forms that need to go off, usually about May time in order to apply for that grant. But it could be £30 a week, in exchange you must attend 100% a week, so if you miss one lesson, uh, then you wouldn't get your grant a week. So this is encourages you to, to be in attendance, which in turn helps you to be successful. We also got one for older students. The EMA was for 16 to 18 year olds. The 19 year olds and above would apply for Welsh Government Learning Grant, WGLG. Not an easy one to say, but there we are. 
Uh, for that, you could get £1,500 a year. And in a similar fashion, you have to fill out an application form, send it off. The thing with these grants is to apply early. So once they're in in May, that's the time to get hold of them and apply. They'll be available in college receptions from that time on. We also have something called a financial contingency fund with other support, uh, such as childcare. Uh, you could get a grant if you're responsible for a child to go in a nursery or one of our nurseries on site, such as uh, we have in Astrum Manach in Nankaru. We have others close by in Aberdeer and the Rome there. We also give out a free meal uh, to those in receipt of benefits under the age of 18. Uh, you would get £3.20 to spend in our refectories. Also help with equipment on some of our courses, they are expensive, and there's help with equipment and work placement uh, as well. So there is finance available uh, to help. Transport. How are you going to get back and forth college? Uh, at a different campuses, obviously the transport arrangements will be slightly different. Um, we can't change where you live, for instance. But there is some help available. So uh, our leaflet, which uh, is available online and, and in paper form if you should want it, uh, tells a lot more in terms of detail on that. But generally, uh, if you're 16 uh, to 19 and live in Ronda Kanataf or Kafili, the councils are quite generous in giving transport arrangements home to college. But you need to apply, you need to go onto their websites, fill out the application form to make sure that your bus pass is ready for the start of term. So that's one thing you have to do. And again, as I say, in, in our leaflet, uh, you'll be able to find out the web address for that. Some other councils are less generous. Cardiff doesn't provide transport these days uh, and Merthyr is a very restricted policy. Uh, but you may want to contact them to see if there's anything available. If you're over 19, uh, we do, through the Financial Contingency Fund, have some help for bus passes with stagecoach bus passes. So, again, if you're not sure about your bus route, get in touch with Learner Services at the college and we'll give you more detail on how you will travel. Additional learning needs. Many of our learners have additional learning needs. Now, when you fill out your application form, we'll have collected some information about that and hopefully, if you have some support needs, you'll have put it on your application form. What will happen then is we will contact you. So one of the staff will be in touch with you to get more detail on your needs and how we might support you then through your course choice uh, during next year. Uh, if you haven't already made us aware of a learning need, I'm thinking of things dyslexia, a physical disability and so on, then please do so so that we can get arrangements in place. Just contact Learner Services and we'll sort that out for you. Come right in the college, Welsh in the college. Many of our learners have come from Welsh uh, speaking backgrounds and have been to school in uh, Welsh medium schools. Uh, whilst we deliver most of our training in the English language, we have some opportunities to continue Welsh. And it is a good employability uh, skill to have into the future. So we encourage you to keep your Welsh up. Some of our courses will allow you to do assignments and assessments in the medium of Welsh. And importantly, there's a West test we do when you join us and, and that tests your English and your numeracy. You can do that in the medium of Welsh because it will help with your understanding of the questions at that time. Uh, so I guess the thing is, get involved. There will be Welsh clubs, there will be opportunities in college to keep your Welsh going. Discussions with our curriculum staff. As I mentioned earlier, our teachers will be getting in touch with you to talk about your course choice. I just wanted to give you some tips of what will happen there. What they will do is explain the content of the course, how you'll progress on from the course, let you know a bit about the activities that get involved in. And the important thing is for you to ask questions of the teacher to find out if that's the course for you. So the aim of meeting the curriculum staff is very much in your hands to make you a decision if this is the course for you with the help of that teacher. Be honest about your abilities, what grades you're going to get next year in school so that they can help advise you on the right level to join. Talk to them about progression into the next levels and what you would like to do in the future. Is the course for you? If not, after you talk to the curriculum staff, they may then pass you on to another department or another course which you might prefer. Our offer to you, after speaking to the teacher and arriving at the course of your choice, what we then do is, is put in writing the offer to you. You'll verbally agree this with the teacher and we have two types of offer. We call it a conditional and an unconditional. An unconditional offer would be given where you've already met the entry requirements. Maybe you've got all your GCSEs already. 
a conditional offer may mean you have to wait to the summer to see if you've got the grades to join that course. Whichever way, you'll have it in writing within 10 days of meeting with the teacher or speaking to the teacher. I've got my to-do board up now where there's a number of things I'd like you to think about and do before you join us. Uh, apply for those grants I spoke about. Get your application in early so you've done it in plenty of time so your money's ready for the start of the course. You'll be asked in for a West test. That is a test looking at your numeracy and your literacy. It's an online test. Later in the summer, you'll be asked in to do that. We ask you to take it seriously. It's not about whether you can join the course, but it helps us work out what support you need whilst you're with us on, on the course. Inform us of any individual needs. I spoke of ALN earlier, or other needs you're worried about. If you tell us, we can possibly get things in place. Apply for your bus pass. If you want a bus pass, again, make sure it's ready for you to start because you don't want to be paying for your own bus fare at the start of term. And finally, enrolment later in the year, we'll ask you into enrol. Uh, what that means is the final pieces of paperwork is checking you've got your exam results. Uh, we'll take your photo and produce a lovely card of you. And so comb your hair that day because you'll have that photo for a while and then you'll be ready to start college. Thanks for taking a bit of time to look at this video. I hope you found some of it useful. And uh, the next things that will happen, you'll be contacted by your teacher if you haven't already been to discuss your course choice. If you have any questions or you want to change anything along the way, just get in touch with our admissions team in, in Learner Services. And we all look forward to meeting you later in the year. Hope you will enjoy your time with us at Colleague at Camoid and you'll be successful.